All right, guys, welcome back to the Giveaway Channel, man. It's your boy, Big Trissy. We got another treat for you today. I told you a couple weeks ago, we're gonna have a lot of treats coming, all right? And today, I have the Marmot Rom 2.0 hoodie. Beautiful looking soft shell jacket. Um, this is actually an update to an existing jacket, to the existing ROM jacket that's been in Marmot's lineup for years and years. It's been a staple in their lineup. A great soft shell jacket, gore wind stopper, the works. All right, so today I just wanna you know, bring it to the channel, have you guys take a look at it. All right, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, loving the color, loving the styling. Uh, this color is actually called the enamel and uh, stargazer color. I think it's an awesome color, probably uh, the best color of the three that's there. There's a black and then there's like a red blue color. Uh, but to me, this is probably the best um, selection, best color out of all of them. All right, so I just want to bring it to the channel so you guys can see. If you're not familiar uh, with the ROM jacket, uh, it's basically a gore quick stopper soft shell. Um, and it's been a great jacket for years. All right, it's been updated, hence the 2.0 name. All right, and now we have, as you can take a look, if we can come in and take a look at this right here. All right, now we have the Gore Infinium. All right, remember we saw the Gore Infinium fabric a couple years back uh, with the Mountain Hardware uh, Direct North jacket that I did a review on. And I think it also was in an OR product as well. Uh, Gore is really just giving you a more breathable, more comfortable wind stopper fabric. Um, and it's also uh, in uh, one of my Marmot hoodies as well that I did a review on. So this this fabric is just really an update on an existing Gore fabric which has been, you know, with, down with the company for years and years and years. It's been tried and true, but they've just updated it, streamlined it, made it a little bit more comfortable, made it a little bit more breathable. And I have to tell you from wearing it, this jacket compared to the original ROM is lighter, all right? The, the fabric feels more refined. It feels softer and more comfortable um, on the skin. And the lining on the inside isn't as thick. If you're familiar with uh, past ROM jackets, the gray liner on the inside was a little thicker. Um, although it was porous and it was breathable, this fabric is not as heavy and not as bulky as uh, that jacket. If I unzip it and you guys can take a look on the inside, right? All right so you, you can see the fabric. You can see that it's not that same thick fabric. All right, and even here, you have some nice, nice, just feeling and looking high quality fabrics. You can look at them and tell that they're nice and high quality. And the jacket just really feels awesome. It's a welcome, welcome. Um, update to the jacket you can also see that they've kept the same um, you know landscape on the jacket same inside pocket here opposite the outside opposite the outside come back a little bit please opposite the Napoleon pocket on the exterior all right inside the Napoleon pocket you have a little bit of mesh to aid in breathability and you have a little bit of mesh to aid in breathability on the inside hand warmer pockets. Nice little touch. If you can just come in real quick and take a look at this. Right here on the zipper pull, you have nice little Marmot branding. Nice little touches. We've seen it on uh, Arcteric stuff and some other stuff. Love when they take the time out. Really appreciate it when they do little things like that. Um, with the outerwear, but just a great, great feeling jacket, man. I'm loving this. This is a three-layer gore wind stopper infinium fabric. Um, it is DWR treated. It looks like it's about to rain, so hopefully today, if it does rain, I will wear it outside and test it out in the rain. And um, you know, I think it's going to do well. The fabric looks like it has a nice treatment on it. It's not waterproof, but it should be highly water resistant, and it is windproof. All right, guys. So take a look at the size. You have Velcro pulls here. To me. 
maybe the Velcro could be a little bit stronger, um, but that's just a personal nitpick with me. Cuffs are really nice, they're tapered down. All right, so you can cinch them down really nicely. You have a hem draw cord here. You don't have it only on one side, you have it on both sides, which is nice. I hate when the draw cord is on one side because then when you cinch it, it kind of leaves one side straight and then one side kind of bulky and bungeed up. So it's good that they have it on both sides and you can just tuck them in um, like that. Again, nice sizable hand warmer, I mean uh, Napoleon chest pocket. You can fit a whole phone in there and you could probably fit two phones in there. So that's nice and sizable. All right, when we zip up, when we zip up, we have a nice neck, nice protection from the elements. We have a great hood, single pull adjustment. Single pull adjustment hood so that, you know, you don't have a whole bunch of cords and stuff blowing around in the wind. Uh, but just a great looking jacket, man. You have the nice overlay on the top. This overlay on the top, I don't believe is any thicker or, um, you know, it doesn't aid in any kind of resistance more than the rest of the body of the jacket. I might, you know, it's probably a little bit harder face fabric, if anything, than the body. The body seems like it's a little bit kind of more cl almost cloth-like and soft, and this kind of has a sheen to it. So probably just to aid in precipitation on your shoulders and your back in the hood where you're gonna see the rain uh, hitting a lot more as opposed to the body. All right, so nice brim, great looking hood, comes around the circumference of the face, zips up really nice, zipper garage right here. Great fit, this is a double XL, uh, which is I believe a 48 to a 52 or a 49 to a 52 uh, in the chest. Measure yourselves, guys, take a tape measure, measure around your chest, go to the sizing chart. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys. What size are you wearing? What size should I get? Every piece is cut differently. Um, you know, in Marmot, I need to wear mostly double X's. Um, and in Arcteryx, I have to wear double X's in some pieces and I can get away with an XL in others. So it really depends on the cut of the jacket and it depends on your body type. So the best way to lock that size in is to measure your chest um, and then refer to the sizing chart. If your chest is a 46, you want to get a jacket that's at least two inches full, a size where the inches fall at least two inches above what your chest is. So if your chest is a 46, you want to go with a size that starts at around a 48 or um, incorporates a 48 in it. All right, and does not, yeah. So that's basically what you want to do. All right, so, you know, holler at me, leave some comments down below, like, subscribe. Let me know if you're thinking about getting this jacket. This was actually the last one um, that I picked up. But uh, it's, it's a great looking jacket. Uh, I think it's on sale right now. It was like 215, 225. Went down to like 160. Great buy for Goran Finney and Windstopper fabric. Heavily DWR treated. Can withstand some rain, some light snow. Um, windproof. It's a great buy. It's a win-win and a great color in a tried and true uh, jacket that's been around for years. All right, your boy Big Drizzy is here, man. We'll be back with some more reviews. I got some earbud reviews for you coming up. Um, Liberty Sound Core 3s. So uh, be on the lookout for that, man. Holla at your boy, man. I'll see you soon. Peace.